Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And I'm actually redoing a video because um, I put up one video and I had some stuff that I didn't even notice in editing. And so I'm going to go ahead and redo and I'll fill you in on what happened um, as we go. So uh, starting off, I have the Pretty Fresh uh, by ColourPop on. This is in 53 Warm, and yes, I did make a real mess of this bottle and probably need to clean it up. I went ahead and used the LYS, uh, their Triple Fix Concealer as well. And um, actually, I... Uh, as far as my SPF, I have had this uh, little mini, the Glow Oil by uh, Supergoop. And one of my new purchases this week is I bought the Big Sister to that. And um, yeah, I really like this. Um, I like having an uh, oil SPF because I get a little bit more moisture in my skin. And so I think it works really well. And so, yeah, that's what I have on there. Um, I did go ahead and use a face-off, and this is uh, their Sweet Tea uh, Bronzer. And again, it's really easy application. It comes in a doe foot, and you just, you know, put on lines and uh, blend. And so, yeah, I'm really liking this one as well. And um, as far as moving to the lips, I have La Cienga. Uh, by color pop on and this part of their glowing lips that they have so that's what I have on there I did go ahead and use the brute flute as far as my blush and this one is color pop uh, super shock cheek and so that's what I have on there went ahead and topped it with uh, two things um, so I topped it with Out of Quartz, which is another Super Shock blush. And then I also went ahead and added some of the Seismic, which is uh, one of the highlighters from ColourPop. This one does have a little bit of shimmer in it, not much. It doesn't, yeah, it still gives you more of a wet sort of highlight look, but it does have a little bit in there. As far as uh, what I used on the eyes, which is going to be some more new products, uh, Lavish is what I have on there. And as far as my base, I went ahead and used this one in the crease, and then this one on the brow bone. This one I went ahead and used as um, my eyeliner. And then I used a little bit of this one uh, brow bone as well, and this one on the inner corner. And um, the other, or the other part, or what I have on my lid today, is going to be this one. It's called Stargaze. This is one of the ColourPop. Um, is one of their Jelly Mud shadows, and I did do a swatch here. Uh, with these being so dark, <laughs> I ended up with two different colors. So I had uh, one darker and one lighter, and I looked at the video, and I hadn't even really noticed it until I was watching the video, and I was just like, yeah, um, you need to be careful with these. Um, they, uh, You need to make sure that you're ending up with the same shot, shade on both is on both eyes because you can um, add just a little bit, you know, and just get a wash color, or you can build it up, but you need to make sure that it's balanced. I've used these in the, um, in the lighter colors. I have a pink color, and I don't think you need to watch out for it as much as you do with a rich, uh, saturated color like this. Um, but yeah, I was kind of surprised to see that because I don't have that happen with very many products. It's, yeah, I just don't have that happen. Um, the other, the n other new product I have is from Elf and this, their brow lift. Um, went ahead and purchased this. I've been playing with it for a couple of days. The first time I got in there, I got too much on. Um, so I dug into the pot, you know, I got too much on and it didn't dry quite right. And I had really, really crunchy brows. Um, 
I find that if I'm in a hurry, it's kind of difficult to do this because you kind of need to work with it. It does have some play time that you can work with it on, but yeah, it took me a couple of tries to actually get it to work. It gives me a lot more brow, but I notice the sparse um, areas more. And I have thicker brows in the front, and then the tails are really thin. So um, it's it's fun. Here, let me show you how they turned out here. It does definitely give me more brow, but I may need to go ahead and just, you know, cut my brows not short because I know I've had them short before on YouTube, but, um, you know, cut them just so that they're, they're more even so that I can go ahead and get the brow to be a little bit more even. Um, but it's fun. It's different. It gives me much more of a brow than I have had. And um, it's something different that I never thought I would really be doing. But um, yeah, and it's fun to have a product that will actually do it instead of, you know, products... Um, so many or so much of the time I could get my outer brow, you know, to do things, but the inner part was so thick that I couldn't get it to, you know, stay up or hold an angle or a slant. And so this is really neat. And um, yeah, I should have picked it up sooner. So things I should have picked up sooner. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, yeah, new new products all over the place. So uh, thank you and have a good day. Bye.